Hi students, let us continue with the topic that is uh, IO interfacing of 8051 microcontroller. Uh, so now let us see the interfacing of input peripherals and interfacing of uh, output peripherals in this video. So commonly used, commonly used input peripherals. What are the commonly used input peripherals? Peripherals are nothing but external devices. The commonly used peripherals are dip switch. Next, push button keys. And then uh, keyboards. And analog to digital converters. So these are the commonly used input peripherals. So if you take, let us take this dip switch. How the dip switch will be access uh, interfacing to the this interfacing IO port uh, that is connected to the dip switch. Now let us see interfacing dip switch. So let us take uh, one of the dip switch. Uh, here some of the registers that are there. RB7, RB6, RB5, RB4, RB3, RB2, RB1 and RB0. So these are the registers of port B. Okay. Let us assume that the port B, uh, it is an uh, input uh, acting as an input port B acts as an input output port. So let us take it as acting as an input port. So here we are connecting the depth switch to this port. So all should connect it to the ground. And we are giving the supply 10 kilowatts. This is the plus 5 volts. So this all will be connected to the plus 5 volts and each resistor is a 10k. So this is a dip switch. Okay. So this dip switch is connected to the interfacing circuit of the input output port. So this is an input output port. Now we are connecting. Now the port B acts as an input port. So this dip switch is connected to the IO interfacing. So this completely is an IO interfacing. So this interfacing will be connected to the microprocessor unit. So internal, internally like this, the operation is like this. So this is a dip switch, dip switch connected to the IO interfacing. That, so here we are connecting to the input port uh, in interfacing circuit and that will be connected to the microprocessor unit to execute the operations. So here one side of the switch one side of switch is tied high to a power supply the power supply through a resistor so this is a resistor that is 10k we call it as pull up resistor pull up resistor so the depth switch is connected with the, uh, with the help of this pull up resistor. The other side should be connected to the ground. One side is connected to the pull up resistors and another side is connected to the and this is one side. One side is connected to the pull up resistors and another side is connected to the ground. The other side is grounded. The logic level changes when the position is switched. So here the logic will be changed whether it is a ground or it is pulled up that will be changed based on the position of the switches. And in the same that the push button key is also the same as dip switch except that uh, contact in momentary. 
so this is the commonly used input peripherals now let us see the commonly used output peripherals let me write that the next interfacing is the interfacing output peripherals interfacing output peripherals so what are the commonly used peripherals output peripherals commonly used output peripherals in embedded system or leds seven segment displays and lcds okay so these are the commonly used output peripherals so let us discuss one uh, interfacing of output peripherals that is let us take the seven segment display interfacing so let me write that seven segment display interfacing of 8051 microcontroller so in this interfacing of output peripherals i am just taking this one of the example that is a seven segment display so what are the features of this seven segment display this seven segment display use it to display bcd digit the first point is it is used to display the bcd digits so that is from 0 to 9 and next a group of seven leds will be placed in seven segment display a group of seven leds physically mounted in the shape of number 8 so these seven leds will be physically mounted in the shape of eight that is like this so this is used to display bcd digits a group of seven leds one two three four five six seven so these are the leds lights seven leds physically mounted in the shape of eight this is look like eight so here they are from a through G. So this is A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Okay. So this is a seven segment display. So based on the operations that the output, uh, the LED light will be glowed. So whether it is one, one means these two will be active, all or uh, off, and two means A, B, G, E, D like that. Okay. Suppose seven means A, B, C. Uh, these three will be on rest of them is off so whatever the input we are giving this output the led light will be glow now let us see this in this seven segment display uh, there are two types of uh, commonly we use here anode and cathode so with the help of the anode and cathode the led light can be glowed in the seven segment displays so that is, we use two types common anode either we can use common anode or common cathode so if we use a common anode let us take we have taken the common anode In common anode, all anodes are connected together to a power supply. First is all anodes are connected uh, together to a power supply. And next, cathodes are connected to data lines. Cathodes are connected to data lines and in common anode the logic zero turns on a segment 
so here you have to remember that logic 0 turns on a segment so let us take this example so here you are having let me write this a group of anodes are there so let us take up to 8 So, this will be connected to, this is DP, decimal point G, F, E and this is A. So, A is nothing but D naught and here this is D4, D5, D6 and this is D7, the decimal point is D7. So, here to display digit 1, suppose I want to display digit 1, then all segments, here these are the segments, A, B, A, B C, D, E, F, G, H, e, these are all segments. All segments except B and C should be off. So, except B and C should be off. Why B and C only? So, this is A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So, I want to represent to display digit 1. 1 means this. So, B and C should be on and the remaining all, uh, all the segments A, F, G, E, D should be off. Okay. So, then... Here I am taking it as a logic 0. So logic 0 means only those uh, segments that ought to be displayed that should be 0 and the rest of them are all 1's. One. So F9H. So we are giving the input as an F9H. Whenever I give an F9H, this 1 will be displaced on the screen. So, this is a common anode. Let me take the common cathode. Let me write the common cathode. So, if I take the common cathode, this should be reversed. Instead of 1's, I will take it as a, I, take, I turn this as a logic 1. So, in the common cathode, it will operate it as a logic 1. In the common anode, uh, the system will be operated in logic 0. All cathodes are connected together to ground. So, here all cathodes are co connected to get together to ground. Whereas, in common anode, all anodes are connected together to a power supply. But here, these cathodes are connected to a ground. And anodes are connected to data lines and here logic 1 turns on segment so whereas in a common anode logic 0 turns on segment and here in common cathode the logic 1 turns on segment now let us see the example for this here also i want to display digit 1 So, I am taking the common cathode. So, up to here. These are all connected to common cathode. And this will be turned to logic. Zero. This is the DP uh, G F A. So A indicates the D naught F D naught D five D six and this is D seven. So here, if you, if you want to display digit one, all segments, all segments 
B and C except except B and C should be off. So this is seven segment A B C D E F G. So this to display one except B and C all should be off. So off means here in if you are connected the system all the diodes to all these diodes to common cathode then it turns to this logic one. The segment is turns to logic one turns on segment. So it represent like zero 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 one one zero. You will get zero six. Okay. So when your system is connected to the common cathode, uh, you have to give the input as a say zero six. Uh, then zero six hexadecimal. Then you you will get the output as one. Means the output light LED will be glowed. B and C will be glowed. These two segments will be glowed, uh, uh, glow, and all the rest of the segments will be off. So this is how these uh, seven segment display. The lights will be glowed. Whatever the input we are given, so that will be based on the whatever the uh, using whether you are using common anode or common cathode. Depends upon the uh, that the light will be glow. Thank you.